Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Friday, the 2nd of October. Starting off with Attis Oil and Gas, which has uh, already created a bit of controversy on Twitter. Uh, here we've got a, a trend line break from uh, last month uh, through, I suppose, what's that, the 0.014 level. Uh, end of day close uh, above that uh, broken September resistance line and especially above the uh, 20 day moving average, uh, the purple line there could take the shares up to the top of that rising trend channel from the end of August, as high as 0.025 for those who are into micro minnow stocks. Uh, next up is um, advanced oncotherapy, where we've got a solid uh, uh, green candle opening at the low and uh, also opening at the 200 day line and uh, moving up from there. Uh, the view here is at least while we're above the 200-day moving average at 30 pence on a mid-price basis, we could hit the top of that rising trend channel from March as high as 50 pence, and really only back below the floor of the channel, what's that, 28 pence or so, really uh, killing the idea of a, uh, a near-term recovery for the shares, hopefully 50 pence by the end of the month or soon after. Uh, another relatively obscure stock uh, is uh, next, uh, Corsell, and here we've got uh, not much of a, a chart to look at, but uh, it looks as though we've got enough to say that we're in a rising trend channel from uh, middle of August or early part of August, top of the channel there running up towards 1.55 or perhaps a little bit more, maybe up to 1.7. Uh, and uh, the upside valid there while we hold above recent neckline resistance at 1.15 on a mid-closing basis. You can just see the uh, MACD starting to cross positively at the moment. On to uh, another relatively quiet stock here, E-Energy. Uh, here this is also looking quite um, uh, encouraging if I can get the right uh, epic code out there. Uh, here we've got uh, the shares uh, just uh, well they gapped higher yesterday through the 50-day uh, moving average at 6.62 pence. Uh, current situation is that we look looks as though we're in a wide rising trend channel from uh, way back in uh, well, the, the beginning of the year, basically uh, January, and uh, the channel heading towards uh, the 12 and a half pence level. Uh, that upside valid while we hold above the 50 day line at 6.62, and that could be seen over the next four to six weeks. I uh, just wanted to cover Great and Gold because obviously it uh, had a little bit of a uh, bull trap surprise uh, middle of last month, uh, peaking uh, at around 27, 28 pence and coming back quite painfully uh, to the floor of that rising trend channel from June around uh, spots at 17 pence. But uh, we've had uh, good days of, uh, of the shares consolidating in a positive way. Uh, today's support above the 30-day moving average and while we're above the 30-day line and the floor of the channel at 19 pence looking for hopefully a retest uh, of the best levels of the year to date and the top of that channel currently pointing around uh, 30 pence. Hopefully that will be seen sometime later this month. Uh, Itaconics is the next uh, contender and uh, here the reason for the inclusion is the uh, Gap higher today, uh, broke that trend line a few days ago from uh, September and the 20-day line at 1.72 pence. And while we're above the 20-day line, looking for a top of December price channel target as high as 3.4 pence, hopefully over the next uh, month or six weeks or something of that time frame uh, for that particular stock. Uh, stock which has been requested and gets requested quite a lot, as you might imagine, is... Uh, Nova site. Uh, here we had the joy of the gap through 500 pence and uh, the late April resistance at uh, £4.73. Uh, the low since then has been uh, 4 91 and uh, it was a sort of failed gap fill, which is normally a bull sign as well. So let's uh, assume that uh, while we're above uh, the old April high at £5.29, we could hit uh, the uh, top of the overall March trend channel at £7 over the next month or so. Uh, on to uh, another uh, pharma area company, uh, Open Orphan, where uh, we're still celebrating the way that the shares have uh, managed finally to break out. They had a rather extended consolidation between May and uh, the latter part of last month, getting blocked at uh, 15, 16 pence. But uh, looks as though uh, with a weekly close around the 20 pence level, we should get uh, over the near term, maybe the next month or so, a move to the top to that uh, resistance line projection from uh, May currently pointing as high as 25 pence so above uh, let's say 18 pence or so looking for 25 on open orphan 
Uh, another uh, favorite at the moment, uh, Omega Diagnostics. Uh, here we've had a nice uh, spike higher uh, through the uh, late September resistance at 86 pence. While we're above that, looking for 105 and uh, the big picture target here up to £1.40 uh, if we can get a decent close, uh, maybe a weekly close above uh, 94 pence, which was, uh, or 95 pence in fact, which was last month's uh, intraday resistance. Uh, just a couple of stocks to go now. One stock which has uh, delivered its uh, initial upside there, 3.8 pence, which was the uh, uh, line of resistance, rather obscure one from last September. Uh, and uh, that's the top of the channel from that uh, that month as well. Uh, the view now is that if we can get an end of day or end of week close through 3.8 up to I suppose four pence would be nice. Uh, then we could have a fresh leg to the upside, uh, and that would be would then target that line of resistance from uh, November 2018, currently pointing as high as eight pence, and that would be a one to two month target. At this stage, everybody back below. Uh, the initial uh, September resistance at three and a quarter pence really delaying the upside scenario. Uh, finishing off with the stock which has uh, been rather frustrating for the bulls over an extended period, but maybe uh, coming back uh, into favour now, uh, like many other uh, unfavoured stocks uh, that we've seen over the course of the year. Here we've got Tulu uh, Energy and uh, just breaking that uh, line of resistance from May around the two pence level, a weekly close above the 50 day line, 1.93 and at least above two pence uh, could be enough to deliver uh, a, a move towards the 200 day moving average at 2.73. The moment, the best case scenario would be uh, a move to the top of that broadening uh, triangle that I'm just drawing at the moment as high as three and a half pence, hopefully uh, by the end of next month. But uh, it's on its way, at least while we're above uh, the uh, Recent resistance around one and three quarter pence. Uh, looks like it's uh, finally uh, done its uh, recovery uh, move. Uh, that's it from me today. More updates probably over the weekend. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.